And you women lie to each other about childbirth. Oh my God. It's not funny, lady. <laughs> if there is four women friends, three of them had babies, they will gang up and lie their ass off to make sure that fourth one gets pregnant. <laughs> my wife's friends, it's a little uncomfortable. You're gonna feel some pressure. <laughs> I was there. Nine months, three days into my wife's pregnancy, I come home from work to find my wife clamped to the headboard. And I know she's feeling some pressure because I can hear wood crack. She's up on her toes, arched across the whole bed like a drunk Russian gymnast. And I know she's uncomfortable because she's going, ah! I said, hon, I think you're in labor. She said, no, 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 no. This is false labor. Holy shit. Okay, I don't know a whole lot about it, hon, but you're arching so hard right now, I can see your spine through your front. <laughs> everybody has their time. Everybody has their time. I mean, not everybody. There are people out there who there's just nobody for them. Mm -hmm. Yep. People like to say things like, there's someone for everyone. Nope. Not at all true. And stop saying it, because it's mean to people who never find anybody. There are millions of people out there who we've all unanimously decided they are light speed ugly and nobody kisses them on the lips even. Nobody touches their genitals their entire life. They just wash it and then they die. That's all that happens. Oh, and if you're feeling bad for them, you can go find one and fuck one tomorrow. You can just solve the problem right there. with all that kindness in your heart. Oh, well, go fuck one. Nah, I didn't think so. Here's what went down, okay? I'm standing beside this guy. This entire thing starts off with a sneeze. A sneeze started this entire situation off, okay? I'm standing next to this guy. I don't know this man. I've never met him before in my life or in a past life. I can sense this. Standing next to this man, never met him before. He turns towards me. And he sneezes like this. He goes, <laughs> Two things happened. First of all, it just, it scared the ever living out of me, okay? I jumped, it was very audible, very loud. But besides that, just the way the light was hitting this guy's face, debris came out. A lot of stuff, almost like when you use Windex and you put it on mist mode, you know, mist mode. Okay, now at this point, I'm disgusted. And I'm grossed out, okay? I'm grossed out by it. And at first I think I'm gonna go off on this guy. And then I decided, wait a second, Dane, don't do that. Take the high road, try to be polite. So I turned to him and this is what I said. I looked at him and I went, uh, God bless you. <laughs> yeah, I said it like that. I said it like that, God bless you. Which, you know, is God bless you, but it kind of sounded like cover your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, incognito. God bless you. This is what the guy comes back with, okay? Here's where it starts to get out of control. Guy looks at me and very condescending, he goes, uh, yeah, I'm an atheist. Yeah, what a jerk, right? I'm trying to be polite. I don't know you're an atheist, right? And even if I did, what am I supposed to say when an atheist sneezes? Uh, when you die, nothing happens.